Welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we are talking about how the Los Angeles Chargers win the 2024 NFL Draft. Let's waste no time and get straight into this thing. And guys, just so you know, I'll repeat myself, this is how I would do it. Not how they would do it, how I'm going to win the draft. You know what I mean? Because I'm the GM today. I'm making it happen. I'm trying to fit Harbaugh's scheme and what he wants, but I'm going to draft whoever I'd like personally. So let's do this thing. Let's get it going. Let's waste no time and let's dive into this seven round mock draft. So it's about to get crazy. Who's going first overall? We have no idea. We know who's going. It's going Caleb, Daniels, May. Pause. There's options here. We know Minnesota is ready to trade up to one of these spots. That's just the truth, right? They want to trade up to four or they want to trade up to five because they are going to want J.J. McCarthy. Potentially, it, it's the rumor. We don't know if it's true, but if they're going to trade up, that's the spot. So my point is, Jim Harbaugh, in real life, he's not going to move from five. I don't see that happening. I think he's going to stick and pick Joe Walt is what's going to happen. You're like, okay, they don't have a receiver in that building. I understand, but I just, for what he's going to do, he's going to take Joe Walt. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to let it ride. But visually, just so you know, that's what's going to happen on draft day. I'm calling it now. Let's keep it going. We're going to let the Cardinals pick, and we're on the clock. Marvin Harrison Jr. is gone. Joe Walt's on the board. Neighbors is on the board. Let's not overthink this. Malik Neighbors is going to be a generational talent, and we need him. We need him on our football team badly. And we're going to get Justin Herbert, a real weapon, on that offense. I'll meet you guys at the next pick at 37. What's up, gang? We are back on the clock at 37, and we got some needs. We filled out wide receiver for sure. We could we could double dip if we wanted to. I don't think they will personally. You know what I mean? But this is up to me, obviously, so I'm, I'm calling the shots here today. But with the value on the board, we need a corner right. We need defensive interior. Tight end, we can wait a little bit. I don't want to take a tight end this high. And running back, I'm not taking a running back this high either. And linebacker, same there. Point is, let's see what we got. Cornerback, let's take a look. TJ Tampa, mm, not bad at all. We also got Kyrie Jackson. We could wait on that, though. Big fan of TJ Tampa. We could also do, let's just let's take a peek tight end-wise. Jatavion Sanders, not bad. We can wait, though. And then defensive interior, what are we looking like? Braden Fisk, solid player right there. I like Fisk a lot out of Florida State. But I am going to go TJ Tampa. It makes sense. It's a need. Let's make it happen. Get him on the roster. I'll see you guys at pick 69. We are back on the board at pick 69th overall. What do the Chargers want to do? What do I want to do here? We got options. Let me show you guys. So now we're in, we're in round three. We can pick who we want. You know what I mean? Call our shots. The running back value, the wide receiver value is off the charts. Let me show you. The running back value, let me look. Right, Corum, Irvin, but that's the big one. Trey Benson's still on the board in the third round. I know you don't draft running backs like that, but man, he is a stud out of Florida State, and this dude is so explosive. See, I'm, they're just taking the words right out of my mouth. Huge fan of Trey Benson. Could we snag him in the third round? Potentially. Let me show you what tight ends are looking like. Eh, it's too early. We're not going to do all that. Wide receiver, though, we got options. Devontae Walker, speedster, love it. Javon Baker, absolutely love it. I think after that, it's kind of a fall off, personally. Like, I don't mind Thrash. I don't mind Corley. I like Rice, but these are these are the last two wideouts left on the board. After that, th it's gone, in my opinion, like top-tier talent-wise. Let's take a look at linebacker super quick. Who do we have on the board there? We have Trotter. Eh, I feel like we can wait a little bit. Our next pick, look at all these picks. We got 105, 110, 140. We got value there. I say we kick the can. Do we go wideout or do we go stud bona fide running back? I love Trey Benson. If Trey Benson is available in the third round, give me that shit all day long. I love Trey Benson. You're not supposed to draft running backs, but I did it anyway because I like this guy a lot. We are going to the next pick at 105. We're not even going to transition because we're back on the clock. The turbo mode is flying. Who do we want here now? We are on the board. Who do we want to pick? These are the guys I'm looking at. Obviously, Marist right here, not a bad value, not at all. He can do some good things, but I value D-line more. I value D-line more. I value tight end a little bit more. We got, we got this. We got this. We got this. It's these three in the middle we are looking at. And obviously, we'll take the best player available because it's a day four, or sorry, a day three pick. But let's just take a look at what we got on the board. All right? Let's talk about it. So, D-line wise, Dwayne Carter, instincts guy, not exactly, not the best elite physical presence, but a good high IQ football player right there, and he can do some damage on the D-line. He's going to be like a day one kind of guy. You plug and play, he'll be good to go. I like that a lot. That's good value. The other guy I was looking at, DJ James, not bad at all, like Maurice, but I'm going to stick to my guns here. There's one more guy I'm looking at, and his name is 
Cade Stover. Y'all know I like Cade Stover. We're going to wait there. We do need a tight end, but I like Dwayne Carter more. Let's take Dwayne Carter and see how it falls to 110. We are on the board, and Cade Stover did not make it, sadly. I kind of thought he was going to get picked by Minnesota. It is what it is. I liked Carter more. Carter's a stud. But nonetheless, who are we taking now? I think since our guy Stover's gone, I'm going to take the linebacker that we need, and Maurice, I don't know if you had, sorry, that's not how you say your name, apologies, sir, but he's a stud at Notre Dame. He comes downhill and thumps people. Big fan of his game. Let's take him. Let's get him on our roster. Back on the clock, pick 140, and this is the dream scenario I wanted. When we left this last pick, I was kind of eyeing this one player, and he is first overall, according to PFF, and I'd have to agree with them. Ben Sinnott, man, I Got a man crush on this dude. I love this player. I, I, I'm i clearly a tight end fan, but, dude, I love Ben Sennett. He is my guy. He can do it all. He can catch. He can block his ass off. Big fan of him. He's quick. He had a great combine as well, and you know coaches love that. Give me Ben Sennett. You got your tight end now. Let's make it happen. Let's go to the next pick at 181. Back on the board at 181, and now we're just taking value. We got three picks left. The Chargers got a lot of picks this year. Good for them. I don't know if those are comp picks or not. Point is, let's take a look. I see one comp pick. No, those are all actual assets they acquired themselves. Very nice, Chargers. You did a very good job, Mr. GM. Point is, here we are on the board. 181, we're just taking value. Simpson, ain't bad. I like Barner, not going to lie, but we just took a tight end. I don't need to double dip a tight end again. Let's go with, I like Vidal. I don't need to, Cade, hold yourself back. I like running backs, but they're not popular in the league, and like they don't get treated well with GMs at least. So let's avoid that. Edge is always a position to need. You always need help at edge. Let's take a swing at Brady McGregor, see what happens. The man from Michigan. Let's see how it goes. We got two picks left here for the Chargers, 225 and 253. What are we taking? I've looked across the board, guys, and I think the best value is going to be in Trey Taylor of a safety. We don't necessarily need a safety. We got Derwin James. We're feeling good. But still, stash him on the roster, see what we can do, see what we can make out of this guy. Let's take Trey Taylor out of Air Force. Last pick, guys, and we're taking a swing. It's pick 253. I think the last one's 255 or something like that. We are way in the back of the seventh. We're damn near Mr. Relevant. Who are we taking? I'm taking this guy because he's a personal favorite of mine, and I think he's going to do well in the NFL. Or maybe not well, but decent. You know what I mean? He's got a shot for the stature he's got. He's 6'7", 260. The Texas native, Jared Wiley, had a very sneaky good year last year. He's more of a slot kind of guy. But Jared Wiley's a weapon. Let's help out our quarterback again. Get another weapon on. On that squad. Here we go, guys. This is my final mock draft. Let's take a look across the board. Neighbors fell to five. Easy pick right there. We'll take him all day long. We took TJ Tampa in the second. Trey Benson. I wasn't planning on taking a running back that early. They gave me a C. I completely disagree. I think Trey Benson is phenomenal, and he'll be taken in the second round this year. But Trey Benson was in the third. Auto select. Give me that shit every time. Uh, Carter, we got in the fourth. I think he'll be a very good plug-and-play player on that defensive line. We got Maurice at linebacker. Sinnott at tight end. Let's go. Love me some Ben Sinnott. Brady McGregor at edge. Trey Taylor at safety. And Jared Wiley. I know we don't like the double dip on tight end, but I believe in Jared Wiley. I think he's a good player, and he'll actually hit in the NFL. This is my mock draft. What did you think, Chargers fans? You watched so many mock drafts. What was different? What would you change from this thing? Let me know in the comments. I don't take any offense. Drop it all below. Y'all are the best. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously and thank you so much for watching if you really enjoyed this you're subscribed already and you're a super fan i have a patreon for you dynasty sickos like i am us dynasty players have a rookie draft coming up here in a couple weeks i have an entire draft guide on my patreon where you get a big board like a cheat sheet you can see all the tiers for every single position i got five really good draft day tips i left you guys that are supported by data and then the most important you get to see how i broke down every single player when i ranked these guys what i thought of the film what i thought of them as a player and i actually write it off to the side in the comments so you can be like Cade I agree with that I don't agree with that and adjust the rankings to your fitting as well nonetheless thank you guys so much for watching this far in the video if you did today I appreciate you guys more than you know have a great day peace now listen up y'all it is time for the 2024 NFL draft wide receiver tier list and this is the first time I have ever had I mean ever had two players in my god tier let's get it started introducing my two players in my god tier y'all know their names say it with me Marvin Harrison Jr. Out of OSU and Malik Neighbors out of LA.